Hi everyone, welcome to Harsha Trainings. Myself Harsha and this video is about Pega Knowledge Base. Like many people, uh, they have a question that whenever we check out a rule in PRPC, so in which version the checked out rule is going to get stored? The answer for this question is very simple. The rule gets stored into checked out version. What is meant by checked out version? So in which rule set it is going to get stored in that case? So the rule is the rule when we check out is going to get stored into a private rule set or you may call it as a virtual rule set or we even may call it as a uh, personal rule set. And what is meant by private, personal and uh, our virtual rule set? So every time when we log into PRPC, process command is going to create a virtual rule set with the same name as operator ID. This we call it as a private rule set or personal rule set. All your checkout rules are going to get stored into this particular private rule set. So let's go ahead and have a look at the operator profile hierarchy and let me show you what is a private rule set and its importance. Just let's get on to the PRPC environment. And before you proceed to that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please share these videos with your friends. And if you have any questions related to any topic in PRPC and maybe that is scenario based or a straightforward subject line question, you may post your question in the comment section below. And if you're looking for Pega training, please reach out to us on the given number that is scrolling in this video. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and look at PRPC environment now. Now let me tell you about private rule set. So whenever you go to operator profile, here you see application rule sets. Apart from application rule sets, here you, it is going to show the rule sets that an operator can act, that this operator can access. In the list of rule sets that this operator is accessing, process commander also shows a rule set by similar name as operator ID. So this is called private rule set and this is a virtual rule set. When a, whenever an operator log into PRPC, process commander automatically creates one virtual rule set with the same name as operator ID. And now how this will be used by process commander. Okay. So let me tell you uh, just something uh, about this rule set versions and all. Just imagine you have a rule in rule set version 1. Okay. Version 1 is there. Version 2, version 3. Three versions it is there. All are checked in. All rules are all versions the rule is in check in mode now you check out version 2 you check out version 2 version 1 is check in version 3 is check in this particular rule is been requested like you are executing a flow let's say it is customer detail section the section is there in version 1 version 2 version 3 three versions it is there uh, usually when you whenever you execute a flow and as part of the flow execution if this customer detail section is requested Version 3 is the one which gets um, displayed, right? Sorry, which gets processed and presented. Highest version. Imagine you have you have checked out version 2. Means version 1 is there, version 2 is there, version 3 is there, but version 2 is checked out. And now you execute the flow. Which version will be picked? Version 1 or 2 or 3? Usually version 3 should be picked right that is the highest version but process commander will pick version 2 which is being checked out. It will not pick the latest version. It will pick the checkout rule. So let me tell you the reason why. Okay now coming to this one this private rule set concept. Okay so whenever an operator log into PRPC process command is creating private rule. Okay now look at here. I will open one rule here. Let's say, um, is this our application or others application? Okay. What is our application? I log into our application, but let me complete the concept. See here. This is an activity which is checked in, right? This check-in instance will be there in the database. Correct. Now I am going to check out what happened now. The activity came to editable mode, right? Checkout is also a version. Checkout is also. This is checkout version. What do you mean by checkout version? It means that version 010100101013 now has two instances. Within three itself, it has two instances now. What are those three? Three check-in rule, 
three checkout rule so checkout is nothing but making a copy of the existing component and making it editable means original component is already there original component is there and original rule is there plus it has been copied and made editable now how many instances of version 3 are there two are there actually but you cannot see that but two are there check in is also there where is check in rule it is there in hano rule set okay check out rule where is it available it has made it copied right is it possible to hold the rule in hano itself as version 03 two times without circumstance is it possible not possible i mean like in the same class also it is not possible when you are clicking on checkout process commander has to take a copy of this rule as it is rule but editable mode within the same rule set same class same version it cannot maintain one more copy that is not possible i think any time if you try to create the same rule in the same version same rule set same class it will throw error message this instance already exist right which means that it cannot hold in the same version same rule set same class one more time the same instance then how about this checkout instance where it has to keep this checkout instance for this reason process commander is going to use one more rule set called same name as operator id checkout you do rule will be copied from hano 010103 into where devympl@hano.com that is your personal rule set all the checkout rules will be there in which rule set your personal rule set by your operator id in the priority of rule set lookup which rule set is priority see here in the form a rule set undi personal rule set is there which means that prpc always take the rules from your personal rule set not available it will go to current application first rule set second rule set third rule set like this this is the reason why when you check out version 2 it is not there in version 2 of the respect rule set it is there in your personal rule set the check out rule then process commander is going to uh pick the rule from your personal rule set and present that's why version 3 is not been picked understand so this is the concept of personal rule set this is the hierarchy of the rule set in the hierarchy of the rule set process commander always go to current application and the rule sets in the application validation mode and go to parent application parent up but before all this which rule set will be looked at personal rule set that is possible only in development qa production and all there won't be any such thing like personal because there won't be any access to check out and all right so there is no concept of personal rule set means if you are checking out in any environment it will come to personal rule set but usually in production no one will be getting access to developer studio to, to check out and all okay so why the check out rule will be picked over check in rule because check out rule is a rule which is there in your personal rule set or you call it a private rule set but it is a virtual rule set understand clear okay so this is about personal rule set and rule set hierarchy 